let's just wait for the call and see how it works so i have received the call i'll just pick it up hi so imagine this you have got a list of 5000 leads sitting in your crm and you want to reach out to all of them traditionally you needed business development representative for this job but now with ai all of it could be done by ai agents at much faster speed and it's at the much less expense so you could launch a voice AI campaign that reaches out to all the contact lists that you have added it interacts with them it qualifies them and it also books meeting for you so in this video i'll walk you through how to create a high converting voice AI campaign that can call qualify and book meeting for you while you focus on other tasks so now let's uh, dive into how it works so before we go into the voice genie platform i will just give you an overview of the campaign that we are going to run so basically we are going to run this campaign on leads that were collected from an event so here uh, we are taking this hypothesis for this video that there was an event and xx number of people interacted with voice genie team and we got their contact details it includes phone numbers emails and names so now we want to take the step forward we will just uh, set up this campaign in that way that the assistant will call all of them it will ask their use case it will then suggest uh, them to book a meeting with our sales team and then it will also ask a uh, few more relevant questions that will help our sales team in the call and then it will end the call so this is how we have uh, set the campaign you know, and this is the use case that i'm going to show in this video so now let's head over to the voice genie platform so now i am logged into my voice genie account and we will be creating this campaign and for launching a campaign in voice genie you need three things one is the voice assistant itself the phone number to call from and the contact list that you want to call so i will be creating uh, and showing how to do all three of them before we go into the campaign uh, let's uh, get into the AI voice assistant. Let's launch this Emma. So now I am into the assistant dashboard. So to make this video short, uh, I have already copy pasted my goal and I have already written my script. Um, I will share the script in the description itself. And I have already created an in-depth video on how to create a voice assistant. You can check that out as well. So for um, this particular assistant, the goal is to engage with leads collected from events, understand their business needs and schedule a meeting with the voice genie team. So I have uh, created the assistant in a way that will do all of this. So the script is written in that way. Um, you can see I have written this uh, welcome message and uh, then I have given instructions to my assistant. So it could start with like I'm reaching out because you recently engaged with Boy Genie at one of our events. Then it also try to convert them to book a meeting with our team. It asks them, it listens to them and then it suggests them that they can book a meeting with us. And to book a meeting uh, over call, we have this book a meeting function here. I have added my Cal account, uh, this Rohit Shahi account. So if anyone books a meeting over call, uh, the assistant will check out the schedule from my calendar and then it will suggest the right time for the user to book a meeting. So again, this thing is done. I have also added transfer to human. So in case someone wants to talk to a human agent, they can also do that. I have again added my one of my numbers here and also have given this same instructions to the script. So if you can see here, if user asks to speak to a human, transfer to agent, which will activate this function. So I think um, if you want an in-depth video, I've already, as I said, I've already created that one. So I think, yeah, we are uh, in the company name. I have to change this to voice genie and then the speed settings again this you can uh, <clears throat> customize it according to your own needs so for this video i'm done with this uh, assistant and i will be moving on to phone numbers so for phone numbers um, you can basically add your twilio or plevo number uh, 
I already have a Twilio number here that I'm going to use. And if you need any help in how to set this up, you can also check the instructions here. So, and if you don't have any account, both Twilio and Plevo provide uh, complimentary credits in starting. So I guess Twilio provides $15, whereas Plevo provides $25. So even though you don't have these uh, numbers, you can just create a new account and you will get this credits. So the third critical step is to upload your contact list. These are the people your assistant will actually reach out to and you can easily upload or add your contact list. Let me just create one visual payment meets. And here you can basically upload your contact list. You can upload your Excel file. Uh, you can upload or sync from your HubSpot or GHL account or you can create them manually. So I am going to create one manually to show you how the campaign will actually perform by calling on my own number. I'm just going to add my own number here. So I have added my contact list. I'm just going to save it. Uh, so we are done with this. You can see I have added the number, first name, last name and the email phone number and contact list is done we can create the campaign so come to campaigns and you can create a new campaign from here and if you don't have a paid account and still want to test uh, how this campaign will work you can go to test mode and you will get option to create demo campaigns but because i have a paid account i will just go and create new campaign here i will add my campaign name I will select the voice assistant, Emma, the phone number, Toby, and the contact list. Next, I can configure all these settings. Because this is a one-time campaign, I only have limited contacts. I will just go ahead with stop campaign. And on the other hand, uh, continue running keeps a campaign in a continuously running state. So this is particularly useful if you would like to send contacts externally from your CRMs on APIs and want uh, assistant to call those numbers. So in that state, continue running is useful. So I'm just going to go ahead with stop campaign. Next is call retry option. If user doesn't pick up the call, you can choose if you want to retry calling him. Uh, so it will call it just once more. So again, this is a great function. And VoIP call handling is basically for VoIP numbers. You do not want assistant to speak during rings. So this should always be turned on. So keep this turned on and then the concurrency you can set how many simultaneous call can the assistant make. And because I only have one contact, I'm just going to keep it one. Again, this is functions. I don't have custom SMS for this particular assistant. Um, Cal meeting, yeah, uh, we have added the booker meeting functionality. I will add my Cal account, Rohit Shahi. And I can also set my availability range from here. And coming to scheduling, if you want your campaigns to run at certain times, for example, your target audience wakes up at or is available at certain times, you can select or schedule from here. Uh, I will show this campaign live, so I won't have this on. Then is um, post call analysis. So basically, uh, this is the information that you can collect from call. Uh, in the script, I have added questions like what's the pain point user is trying to solve? What's their budget? And what's the current tools that they are using? So if I add those questions here, I will get answers to all the questions in a tabular form at the end of the call. So I have added the question of what's the budget. So here I will add um, like what's I also get answer type. So it could be number, it could be text, it could be date. Here because I have asked for budget, I want to know the budget. I will just select the number. So and I will name column name as budget.
So I have added my post call analysis question. This is done. If you want to add webhook and send information, you can also do that using webhooks. Uh, again, I am not going to use it here. So I will just save this campaign. Uh, so the campaign is actually ready. If I press play here, uh, the campaign will actually go live. So I have uh, created the campaign. Now let's launch the campaign and see how it performs. So the contact list that I have added in the campaign, I have that phone here. Let's just wait for the call and see how it works. So I have received the call. I'll just pick it up. Hi, Rahul. I am Emma calling from Voice Genie. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, Emma. Ah, that's great to hear. I'm reaching out because you recently engaged with Voice Genie at one of our events. What do you need help with? Sales automation, lead qualification, customer operations, or something else? Um... Lead qualification. Great. Could you tell me a bit more about what is important to you in voice AI platforms? Some of our customers prioritize cost, ease of use, scalability, or personalization, etc. Um, ease of use, for sure. Thank you for sharing that. Based on what you've mentioned, we have solutions that might be a great fit. Would you like to schedule a meeting with our team to explore this in detail? Yes, yes, I would love that. Wonderful. Let's get that set up for you. When would you like to book the meeting? We have several available slots on 3rd April. Can we do it 4th of April? Absolutely. Here are the available time slots on 4th April, 5.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. with each session running every 30 minutes. What time would you prefer? 5.30 a.m. will be good. Your meeting is scheduled for 5.30 a.m. on the 4th of April. You will receive an email with a meeting link shortly. Could you just answer a few more quick questions to make sure our team is fully prepared for your meeting? Yeah, thank you for booking the meeting. I have actually received the link. And yes, I'm available to answer your other questions. Awesome. Thank you for confirming. So, first thing, what's your budget for a solution like Voice Genie? $500. Got it, thank you. Next, um, what tools are you currently using to handle lead qualification? Um, I'm using HubSpot. Great. Thanks for that information. Before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to know? No, no, I'm good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for your time. If you ever have more questions, feel free to reach out. We're happy to help anytime. Goodbye. So as you can see, um, the meeting was booked smoothly. Again, there was a little bit of lagging from voice bot's end, but again, that happens sometimes. So... As you can see, the meeting was booked and you can launch a similar campaign for yourself again on a bigger scale with a better script, with a more tested script. This script was very basic and I didn't uh, went into it very deeply because I just wanted to show you how you can do it. So as you can see, um, the meeting is booked. You can also see the post call analysis questions. So what is the budget? I said $500 current tools, HubSpot, and what problem are they trying to solve, lead qualification basically. And uh, then here you can see transcript. You can also uh, hear the call recording. Great. Tell me a bit more about here are the available. The link. Yeah. So, yeah, also you can see other analytics. As I said, uh, the average response time was very high for some reason. Normally, it's around two to three seconds with voice Genie. But again, um, after this, um, you can create a campaign like this for yourself as well. So this is it. So that's how simple it is to create a voice AI campaign with voice Genie that can basically uh, replace uh, the job of a PTR. It can save hours of manual outreach. And if you want a campaign or if you want an assistant for your own business like this, go to voicegenie.ai, sign up to the platform, create a campaign like this. And if you face any trouble or need a personal demo as well, you can always reach out to Voice Genie team. So I hope that you like this video and I will come up with better new videos around Voice AI and around different use cases in future. Till then, thank you so much.